everybody. If you are watching this video on the day that it is posted, then that means that today is Friday, March 20th. And this week, Friday, means that I've been out of school, out of my classroom for a whole week. If that's the case for you too, then congratulations because we made it through the first hard week of having no school, but we've been together, so that's been fun. In honor of this little celebration of making it to Friday, I thought we could do a really fun project today that combines fashion and art because fashion really is just art. It's a category of art. Fashion is a way to show your culture. Fashion is a way to show some self-expression, who you are. Take a look at me today. I'm wearing my Baby Yoda shirt because Baby Yoda's awesome. And I'm wearing my honeybee socks because I love bugs and insects and things of all kinds. Now on the description for this video, I put some websites and those websites showcase some fashion from around the world. All of the fashions on the website are part of the cultural heritage of some of the people who live or lived in those places. Take a look, learn a little, and get inspired. And if you're feeling really inspired, do some more searching because I only put a few places up there, but you can learn about the fashion from every country and all different kinds of people who live in all different kinds of countries for the next year if you wanted to. Once you're feeling inspired and ready to get creative, then it is time for you to tackle today's challenge. And today's challenge is to make some wearable art. You might already have some great ideas because you've done some browsing and you've seen some things that inspired you, but in case you need a little bit of extra inspiration, here are some ideas for you. Some things that you could make today. You could make a bracelet or a necklace. You could decorate an old t-shirt. Lots of t-shirts have designs on the front, but nothing on the back. So if you've got a kind of old one, take it, design the back of it, make the back the new front. You can make a crown, you can make a sash or a belt, or maybe even like a scabbard for a sword or something. You can make a hat, you can make a pin, something to wear that you could wear everywhere you go or give it to a parent or a grandparent to wear. You could also just figure out something old that you have that you could wear in a new way. Now here are some ideas for supplies, but before you go getting any of this stuff, just make sure you ask your parents. Some things you could use are old clothes. If you've got old socks and you cut off the top of them, ah, you've got a bracelet. If you've got some old pants that have holes in the knees, cut off the bottoms, you've got some shorts. But that's really important that you check with your parents first. You could use some rainbow loom. Rainbow loom has been a craze for many years. You might have an old one sitting around that you haven't used in a while. You could pick a really cool pattern, some really cool colors, and make a rainbow loom something. Pipe cleaners are great, especially if you're making crowns and sashes and bracelets and necklaces and pins and hats and things. Beads are always great. Just plain old paper. You can make a paper chain necklace. Cardboard, I love cardboard. Cardboard is so versatile. You can use it to make anything pretty much. A bandana, maybe you have a bandana or parents have a bandana that they don't use. Aluminum foil, that can make things really shiny. Paint. Don't get it on the carpet. Safety pins, especially if you're making a pin or if you're trying to put things together. Shrinky dinks. I really want to make a shrinky dink pin myself. I'm going to see if I can manage to do that. A 3D doodle pen. You know those pens that some people have? You kind of heat them up and you can make something and it solidifies. You could use one of those to make something awesome. And even wiki sticks. Now, if you really want it, you could make yourself into a paper doll. So you could get cardboard or paper and make a whole flat 2D outfit. That would be amazing. So these are just some ideas, but this is a really open-ended project. This is a chance to just have some fun, relax, be artistic, be creative, and think about what are you trying to say about who you are? Or what are you trying to say about who you would like to be for five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, a day, a month, a year, who knows? Whatever you create, that makes you into something else. So have fun with it. When you're done, share with somebody. And if you're feeling really brave, you should have a fashion show. That would be awesome. Put on some great music and show off your designs. Make two, make three, make 10, make one for everybody in your family and everybody can get into it. Okay, so have fun with this project today. Happy Friday. And I will see you on Monday. Bye.